Twitter's biggest troll, Elon Musk, is now apologizing for his treatment of an employee who has a disability. He's probably apologizing because his comments could get him into a lot of trouble legally. He could get sued for a lot of money. Now, before I get to his apology, let's backtrack and talk about what transpired, how it transpired. It all had to do with a, a, a now laid off employee, fired employee named Harald Dur uh, Thorleifsson. Now, he had previously sold his own company to Twitter, and then he served as a senior director at Twitter. He happens to have a disability. He uses a wheelchair due to muscular dystrophy um, that is beginning to affect his upper body and arms. Now, he suddenly lost access to his work computer or his work accounts uh, over a week ago, and he wanted some clarity on what was going on. Was he fired? No one reached out to him, no one in HR called him. So he reached out to Twitter's human resources department to find out if he still had a job. And when that didn't work, when he received absolutely no response, he's like, I guess I need to resort to reaching out to Elon Musk publicly on Twitter. And sure enough, that's what he did. So he writes, Dear Elon Musk, nine days ago, the access to my work com computer was cut along with about 200 other Twitter employees. However, your head of human resources is not able to confirm if I am an employee or not. You've not answered my emails. Maybe if enough people retweet, you'll answer me here. Now, Elon callously responded with this, what work have you been doing? I mean, I don't know how many employees are left at Twitter, but you should probably know as the CEO of the company. But nonetheless, Thorleifsen responded and said that he would have to break Twitter's confidentiality agreement in order to discuss that openly on Twitter. Elon Musk gave him permission to do so. And then he proceeded to explain exactly what he does through his work at Twitter. But apparently that wasn't good enough for Elon Musk because he responded with pics or it didn't happen. Then he replied to himself with a YouTube clip of a firing scene from office space because he's definitely an adult engaging in an adult conversation on Twitter. I've got more before I get to it, Cenk. I'm, first of all, I'm amazed by uh, it, what we found out about Elon. I mean, how is this guy successful in anything? I mean, you see it play out live right in front of our eyes. He's a child. He has no impulse control. He doesn't think things through, not, not very rational. How the hell did he get here? I mean, I think that for p people whose dads own emerald mines, the world must be so much easier than we realize. Oh, come on. Like like I I know that we know that for rich people it's much easier than we have it, but apparently it's infinitely easier. Like they just have to wake up and they're going to fall over a fortune, right? Because god, this guy can't think straight at all. I mean, for even if you put everything else aside, which you shouldn't, the moral issues, etc., He's begging for a massive lawsuit definitely, here. Definitely, definitely. And I, I'm curious what's going to happen because if he doesn't, if he, they, they don't lose a ton of money because of this, then there's no justice in the world. And I'll explain why in a second. So Jenk is saying that because the interaction with this now fired employee gets a lot worse. So how he responds to Elon Musk, you know, the office space clip and all of that by saying, to be clear. You have every right to lay me off. That's totally fair and fine, but usually people are told when that happens, maybe with a letter or something, which didn't happen for nine days despite multiple emails to you and others. And he asked Elon to also pay him what he's owed for the work that he did do. And here's where it gets incredibly disturbing and disgusting. Elon then responds to a tweet criticizing how he handled the situation with accusation saying, the reality is that this guy, who is independently wealthy, did no actual work, claimed as his excuse that he had a disability that prevented him from typing, yet was simultaneously tweeting up a storm. Can't say I have a lot of respect for that. Now, muscular dystrophy is a real condition that does lead to disability, and unfortunately, that is the case with Thorleifsen because 
As a result of his diagnosis, he has to use mobility devices and that's actually well documented. In fact, Elon Musk, if he you know, got off Twitter for a minute and actually paid attention to the workplace that he's fostering, maybe he'd be aware of that. Now, in his home country of Iceland, he even started a fund, Thorleifsson did, that builds wheelchair ramps for other people with disabilities. So gives you a sense of what kind of guy he is, which is a pretty great guy. But anyway, so this morning, Thorleifsson detailed his disability to Elon on Twitter. Here's what he wrote. I'm not able to do manual work, which in this case means typing or using a mouse for extended periods of time without my hands starting to cramp. I can, however, write for an hour or two at a time. This wasn't a problem at Twitter 1.0, meaning before Elon Musk took over, since I was a senior director and my job was mostly to help teams move forward, give them strategic and tactical guidance. But as I told HR, I'm assuming that's the confidential health information you are sharing, I can't work as a hands-on designer for the reasons outlined above. I'm typing this on my phone, by the way. It's easier for me because I only need to use one finger. Finger. I hope that helps. Let me know if you are going to pay what you owe me. I think you can afford it. Now, eventually, Thorleifsson received an email from Twitter's head of HR who confirmed that he is in fact fired. He is no longer employed by the company. But it turns out that this isn't the first time that Elon Musk has mistreated disabled employees. In fact, according to Insider, disabled employees at Twitter have filed a class action lawsuit against the company in November saying Musk's new extremely hardcore work culture and orders to work long hours at high intensity forced them to resign. Now, the big update to the story is that Elon Musk, probably due to the advice from his attorneys, has apologized and he says this. I would like to apologize to Halley for my misunderstanding of his situation. It was based on things I was told that were untrue or in some cases true but not meaningful. He is considering remaining at Twitter. Yeah, yeah, see, he's an idiot, he's a child and he acts impulsively. Because uh, look guys, are there some guys who dog it at work? Yeah, sure. And are some excuses kind of obvious? So, so like I have a sprained knee now, I've had it for a while. If I said I couldn't type because of it, uh, this guy has muscular dystrophy. Yep. Discriminate against him when he was your employee is not a little problematic, it's massively problematic. Like if, if I did that, if I said half of what Elon Musk said, we'd immediate, like we'd be sued out of existence, literally out of existence, okay? And so I don't know if there's any justice in the world. I don't know if that ass covering operation, which Elon Musk clearly does not actually believe, is gonna do the job. But that guy should sue the bejesus out of Elon Musk and Twitter. And he deserves to get paid a lot of money based on the current laws that we have. And by the way, if he doesn't, there's no justice in the world if he doesn't, right? right? Because a small business would definitely be crushed by a lawsuit like that. I don't know if Elon can make it go away with his army of lawyers. Um, Can I? And, and he got called a guy lazy. They bought his company. <laughs> he was so successful. Twitter bought his company. Do you have any idea how it is hard it is to found and run a company? And a guy has muscular dystrophy on top. It's like the least lazy guy in America. Yeah. Right. It's I, Musk is such an both an idiot and a really bad guy. Well, the other thing I want to just quickly mention is even in his apology, right? There is this. Unwillingness to take personal responsibility for what he did and this claim that he acted the way he did because of others. It was the others misinforming me, right? In fact, he says verbatim, it was based on things I was told that were untrue or in some cases true, but not me. You're the CEO, like you're the CEO of the company. What do you mean? Oh, It happened because people told me misinformation. You are the CEO, the head of the company. Look, I just call him an idiot and I'm gonna do it again. Even though he's the second richest man in the world and you're supposed to apparently have awe for the wealthy because there's like geniuses we can't understand. That's the mythology that you hear in America. But idiot, check to see if you actually fired him. 
It, the guy says, I get, it looks like I've been fired, but I'm not even positive. You guys didn't even send me a letter. Remember when I said you can't fire three quarters of your, and this is not just me, it was everybody. Three quarters, you can't fire three quarters of your employees and hope that the company still runs just as, a, as it was before. That's not a thing, right? So the other day there was a big headline about, oh my God, nothing's working on Twitter. The links aren't working, this isn't working. That. Of course it's not working. They fired three quarters of their employees. There is such a hot mess right now that guys getting fired don't even get letters, let alone the money that they are owed. Insane. So hey, dumb dumb, do you wanna check first with HR before you go shooting off at the mouth on Twitter and potentially costing your company millions of dollars? Nope, dumb dumb has to act because he's a baby. You know, I gotta say, TYT with its limitations, you know, with resources and all that stuff, never late in paying me. <laughs> like on top of it, I've been here for 16 years, always on top of it. We, look guys, the, so. the, the thing, no, no, but this is goes to the injustice of America, okay? Yeah. So I'm proud that we run a moral company and we have we always pay people on time, not just employees, but uh, people we do contracts with. A lot of other companies, they cut a lot of corners and don't pay people when they said they would, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and especially third parties, let alone employees, right? We don't do that, but part of it is, so we make we would make that choice either way. But a lot of companies, small businesses don't have a choice. Because if they don't pay their bills, they're gonna get crushed in a thousand different ways. The bigger the companies are, the mythology in America because of corporate media is the bigger the companies are, the more you can trust them. No, the bigger the companies are, oftentimes the le the more they get away with because of their lawyers, they can do way worse to their employees. They can do salary theft and all of those different things, a thousand other things and get away with it. No, watch out for the big companies way more than the small business. Small businesses are actual American citizens, right? These giant corporations are machines that have captured our government. That's why they let Elon, like, and Elon is in the charge of several of those machines, those corporate machines. And that's why he gets to get away with things that a small business owner would never be able to get away with. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.